And now to whet your appetite ahead of the weekend, ILTV's Wine of the Week. For this week's wine pick, we're focusing on the Witkin Winery located in the west of the Hefer Valley between fields and vineyards and close to the Turtle Bridge which spans the Alexander River. The Witkin Winery is a family boutique winery considered to being the pioneer in Mediterranean approach and expertise in producing original Israeli wines and also producing original wines from varieties that have not realized their potential. And joining me now in studio with more is enologist and proprietor of the Witkin Winery. Asaf Paz, hi Asaf, welcome. Good evening, Amit. How are you? I'm okay, how are you doing? Great, great to be here. Very happy to have you here. So, what did you bring us today? What's the wine of the week? So, uh, the wine of the week is a Red Israeli Journey, and it's, a, a, it's our journey to produce the a, premium Israeli wine from uh, local varieties and Mediterranean varieties, and uh, try to break uh, the glass ceiling of all the in international varieties that were before we established the winery more than 20 years ago. Can I see it? Can I yeah, see it? Yeah, of course. So that's our wine of the week today, guys. Really nice. Can open it if you want. Of course. So Asaf, I understand that you came to the wine world sort of like from the back door. I mean, you have a Bachelor of Science, I understand. Yeah, I actually How started come? as a pastry chef. I All right. I was three uh, years pastry chef in uh, one of the premium hotels of Israel in, up in the north because I'm a, a Galilee a born and raised uh, boy. And uh, when I uh, finished that, I had to uh, fulfill uh, the promise that I made to my Jewish mother to go and study something serious and not just Science cooking. is the thing. And the uh, Bachelor of Science in, in Food Technology. So it was connected with food. Uh, I fell in love with it, but uh, wine was the direction I really needed, uh, I wanted to follow. And how come you really made the shift? I mean, why specifically wine? Why not food, for example? I call it the um, a combination of all my love. All my loves. So it's uh, the love of the land, the love of agricultural, love of people, that uh, whom I meet uh, with uh, this g human glue, the wine, and uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of science and a little bit of cooking also. So wine is the combination between uh, the divine and the man and, and science and art. And that's why I fell in love with it. And I went to study it in the Bordeaux Faculty of Enology. I was wow. the, First Israeli student to uh, obtain the high uh, diploma national denologue in uh, Bordeaux, France. That's really interesting. And why? What more can you tell us about the Witkin Winery? I mean, when can people come visit? What so, can you do there? So first of all, uh, we started to make wine 20 years ago. And uh, when we started making wine, it was after I finished Bordeaux uh, Faculty of uh, Enology and, and uh, traveled the world. I worked in France, Australia, and Northern California, and I noticed that Every wine country has its own typicity, varieties, and wine style. And when I came to Israel, 100% of the quality wines were one of the fantastic four. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Chardonnay, and uh, Sauvignon Blanc exclusively. And I said, there must be more than that. I will make the wine that nobody ever made before me. And that should be something that grow well in hot climate, like Carignan, like Petit Syrah, like Grenache, Mediterranean varieties that up until then were very notorious because they were known to make mainly kiddush wine and grape juice. But uh, if you grow them well and uh, go uh, to quality, as we do a lot of dry farm vineyard, a lot of uh, uh, um, old style uh, trailing of the, of the wine, of the vines, we can reach very high quality. So we were those crazy guys that don't produce any of the wine that everybody wants to buy and produce wines from varieties that people are unaware of or notoriously known to them. But first they laugh and then they copied. And now today, a lot of wineries doing this and I think we were the pioneer of breaking this glass ceiling. Asaf Paz, Witkin Winery, very interesting. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank and you. And Lechaim, of course. Lechaim. Let's pour, we'll see you.